We're going over a bunch, a whole slew of multifamily properties, tons of due diligence. This is going to be a deep educational dive. Angus, this is your video. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, real estate investors. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I'm your host, James Wise, coming to you from my home office right now during the COVID-19 uh, special. Um, just a quick reiteration, I don't want to delve into this too much, but if you're out there and you're thinking about investing in real estate, do not think that Holton Wise is not able to help you purchase properties, put those properties under contract, open escrow, close escrow, handle full renovations. The sky is the limit. We can do everything. If we needed to build a house from the ground up, we could do it. Our maintenance team, our essential field staff, they are still working out there in the field handling everything for you folks. Of course, we're just complying with government uh, suggestions uh, with the social distancing and having it set up where our non-essential employees that can work off-site are working off-site. That's why you see me from my home. Several members of my sales and media team are doing the same, but don't worry, folks. We've got all the resources still out there in the field to keep things going business as usual. And a guy that I have been doing a ton of work um, right now during this whole COVID thing is my dude, Angus. Angus, brother, what's up? Angus, me and you, man, we have pounded out several videos. We've looked into several properties. We've been very aggressive. We've been slinging bids here. We've been slinging bids there. Some are going through. Some we've ran into some issues. Some are still out there, right? This is, uh, this is a good thing, right? This is why we do this 10 property package. We're out here trying to get money, folks. We're trying to do these deals in a very profitable way. You know, if, if you're out there and you're learning how to invest in real estate and, and you're attracted to um, these Midwestern markets, or like especially Cleveland, right? That's where we specialize in. That's where Holton Wise does our top to bottom servicing. I mean, we could help you guys in the other Midwestern markets. Um, by providing you guys education and opportunities to bid on these properties through turnkey providers across the country that work with us. But if you want to work with us with the top to bottom where we do it all, instead of hand you off to these other vendors, it's Cleveland, Ohio. Um, and a lot of people are interested in Cleveland, Ohio. It's very popular. You know, the investment blogs and articles are written about it all the time because the prices are so low. And then there's things like the Burr strategy, buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat. These are all huge money-making things. And Angus, I know you're interested in that stuff too, but you know, with the fact that we've been doing all these deals and not every one of them is going through, that's a great learning experience for everybody that reads about these strategies. I mean, that's like a guru thing, right? They'll talk to you guys about strategies that, yeah, these particular strategies do work, but the gurus just make it seem like there's just all of these properties out there and then you just immediately like go right to them and you implement that strategy and then you just make all this money. In the real world, it takes work. It takes effort. And that's the biggest thing I think we do here on Holton Wise TV. We provide you guys a completely transparent look into the business. That's why we have things like the Tenants from Hell show, showing you guys the worst of the worst that could happen. Because, uh, you know, I'm not here to fluff, dude. I mean, yeah, real estate makes a ton of money, but it's not always going to be easy. And, um, you know, Angus, uh, we're doing some deals, but I think you're running into a couple roadblocks that are out of our control, but that's just the nature of the beast, man. Like we are analyzing these properties and setting them up in a way that makes you a ton of money. But don't forget, there's also going to be a seller involved and the seller's goal is to make a ton of money too, uh, or at least get rid of their property in the most profitable way uh, possible, or at least mitigate their losses if they're distressed. So you got to understand um, that you're trying to make money and they're trying to make money and you know, your interests are not aligned with theirs. Uh, so a lot of this stuff, it's a numbers game, right? There's a lot of legwork involved and that's why we, we contract with you guys to get the commitment out of you so we can put in the time, the resources, uh, the effort, the, the cost that goes into producing these videos and doing the proper due diligence for you guys to make sure you guys get in, uh, to really profitable deals. So that's why I like this 10 property package and, uh, that's why I've been 
enjoying working with you thus far, Angus. And I think, uh, you know, it's been a great learning experience as well as we got some deals locked up that you're going to make a ton of money and some of the other ones, you know, they're still out there, right? We're going back and forth. A lot of this could be a long, a long play too, right? You get a seller that doesn't necessarily want to take your offer, which is obviously, you know, weighed heavily on making you money, not, not really them money, but we're trying to make you money, right? But they might not take your offer today, but you know what? We, we keep at it, right? We, we keep hitting them later. Like we hit them in a month. We hit them in two months. You're going to see things like that. It don't happen overnight. This ain't a get rich quick game. And uh, the worst thing you could do is try to rush into a bad deal. And um, that's kind of what's going to lead me into the first, first thing I want to talk about here. Cause Angus, uh, I'm filming this is a Monday morning and over the weekend we've been negotiating. We did lock up that Forbes deal, which is nice. Uh, sellers being kind of a prick, but we got it all squared away. And then you, uh, you'd sent me a, a slew of properties and things you were interested in. And uh, I want to touch on some of that right now. 4131 Woodbridge. That was a deal you were interested in. And you liked that deal. Um, we're not even going to worry about that. We're not going to look into that right now because that's actually under contract. The seller, they found a buyer and they're under contract. So that's not available for you to bid on. We're going to instead move on to another property that you were very interested in, a quad. 1825 Lakeview Road, East Cleveland, 44102. Now, this one is actually also currently under contract. And normally, I wouldn't want to spend any time uh, going over this property with you because at the very moment, you can't bid on it. Now, a lot of these deals, I mean, it's very common for rental properties to fall out of contract, just so you guys know. So like if we analyze the property for you and then you put in your bid and you get outbid by another investor, don't think that that's necessarily all she wrote. A lot of these deals come back on the market, guys. Investors around the world are, you know, some of them are flaky. I'll be honest with you. I mean, we get we get folks to flake. If, you, if you're a big time viewer of the Investment Properties for Sales show, where that's the properties we're selling, that we email to you guys at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every day. If you haven't been watching that show, you friggin' should. So make sure you smash that subscribe button so we can send that to you every day. Those shows come with video tours. But uh, you'll see some of the properties come back on the market because, you know, folks flake or they get their inspection and they realize, oh, this is more work than uh, I was thinking. You know, when I explain these properties to people, I try to give the most transparent look possible. But I want everyone to do their due diligence and get the inspectors in there so they can really go through these properties on a fine tooth comb. Because I, I, I notice a lot of viewers, sometimes you guys try to think best case scenario in your head, even if that's not what I'm saying. So that's why, you know, we push so heavily on making you guys get those inspection reports because dude, even if the property is a brand new, beautiful million dollar house was just built yesterday, inspectors uh, reports have a way of making that look like a, a rough property, which is good. That's, that's what you want. You want the most critical, you want to look at a property through the most critical lens possible. So like with all that said, right, this particular property, 1825 Lakeview Road, under contract, it could, you know, fall out of contract, it could be available, but at the moment, it's not necessarily available. But the biggest reason I wanted to talk to you about this property is really to just set proper expectations and get things going, because you uh, seem uh, to be very interested in this property, and from the looks of things, I understand why, okay? It's listed by Keller Williams, they've listed at 149900 it is a big old quad, quads are my favorite properties kind of like this color too not that that actually matters but i do like the dark uh bluish gray color i think that looks pretty cool uh it doesn't look great on the sides when it's like not matched with the rest of the red brick but i do think it looks cool but that's just uh completely irrelevant um don't think that uh, that adds value it doesn't uh cruising through the photos right we got big old units here you know, you got the hardwoods, they got the little cheapy, uh, what they did is, you see this in low income rentals quite a bit, instead of actually um, staining the hardwoods, you just take like uh, dark brown deck paint. Uh, that's how you could tell that the landlord is either got something seriously low income on his hands, or he's just a total slumlord. Uh, but you know, the units, they're big, they're spacious, uh, they look pretty okay. The kitchens, they got some like vinyl wood flooring in there. Fixtures, uh, they're decent. Uh, I mean, it's like not the greatest thing in the world, but it's not the worst thing in the world. So building wise, uh, nothing major, like everything would look uh, pretty promising. Um, but here is, is uh, where it gets dicey. And this is why I really want, wanted to uh, discuss this one with you, even though it's not available at the very moment, because I just think this is a really good learning experience for you when you're, you're going through these properties, because location, location, man, that's the most important thing. 
The agent had stated, this is the uh, public remarks from the agent, brick quad within a mile of university circle, all units, three bed, one bath, all updated in 2018. Highlights include vinyl windows throughout, glass block windows and basement, porches on each unit, newer furnaces and hot water tanks, walkable to university circle, some off street parking, available in drive, no through traffic on the block, close to public transportation and gas station, convenience store, all units were rented at 800 through CMHA, three bedroom rentals in the area getting as much as 1200 a month. University Circle in the surrounding area is home to Case Western Reserve University, many of Cleveland's cultural institution, University Hospital, brand new development, restaurants, upscale condos, Wade Oval Park, Little Italy, and Cleveland Clinic's main campus. So we're priced right. Apparently we could bring in a ton of money. It's a quad, best thing to finance. By University Circle, college rentals, everything sounds like it's freaking amazing, which is why I think you're so high on this investment. But that is why you hire me, because we need to dig deeper, deeper, okay? Now, what I've done for you is I've pulled up Google Earth, and yeah, we are right there, hop, skip, and a jump. We're just a very little bit northeast of University Circle and Little Italy, two great areas. I understand why you'd want to be near them. If you can get properties in there or rent to college students over here, that's freaking great. You're, you're barking up the right tree, but we got to dig deeper, brother. Now, there are certain uh, areas of the Cleveland market where you, you – in, in pretty much every – like Midwestern Rust Belt type city, you hear people say like, oh, you, you know, that particular neighborhood, it can change on a block by block basis. And, you know, this little area more so uh, than any. Now, East Cleveland itself, if you check out the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods, I have given East Cleveland a grade of F. It is a crummy neighborhood. It is the hood. It is one of the worst neighborhoods in the Cleveland market, if not the United States of America. Poverty, drug addiction, violence, property theft, murders, worst of the worst, blight, right? If you think about the ghetto, East Cleveland is the freaking ghetto, dude. There's like nothing good in East Cleveland, right? You're not going to find a lot of high quality tenants in East Cleveland. You only live in East Cleveland because you don't have an opportunity to live anywhere else. There's nothing good about East Cleveland. Now, I've even done videos. I've done a video on this. I sold a quad in East Cleveland, though, that had a lot of similarities uh, to this, and I thought it was great for out-of-state investors. And um, if you go to uh, Mayfield Road, okay, you just go a little bit east from Little Italy, University Circle. We're just going to cruise east on Mayfield Road. Then you kind of go northeast, just north of Coventry Village. There's this nice little triangle of properties. We've got uh, just a nice little neighborhood in here. We've got a ton of natural borders. Right to the west, we got the big old cemetery, which is directly to the east of the quad you're looking at. Right to the north, we got Forest Hill Park Reserve, okay? So more like parking and park and wildlife and whatnot. And then, of course, to the south, we got Coventry Village, which is nice and trendy. And I sold a nice little quad in there. And even though it's East Cleveland, I was, and I, you know, I explained it. And this, that property is on the Investment Properties for Sale show as well. So what I'll do is I'll put the link to that in the show notes so you guys can check it out. Now, normally I think East Cleveland's crummy, but I was like, yo, dude, we are literally on the border of some nice stuff and we're getting a ton of college dudes coming in and renting this, you know, Case Western students, blah, 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 blah. So even though it's East Cleveland, I like it. You know, basically I was uh, giving a bunch of bullet point reasons uh, why I thought it made a lot of sense to buy that property, which is pretty much identical to the, the reasons the particular listing agent has given us on this property, 1825 Lakeview. But here is the difference. Let's cruise back over, still on Google Earth here. Let's just cruise over to 18325 Lakeview. Now, natural borders, when you're worry, uh, working with neighborhoods where it's like really hot and then it goes to really sketchy, there's typically like a big natural boundary where you can see the, the breaking point, the changing point, right? People use the term other side of the tracks, right? And, uh, you know, with that neighborhood I liked, okay, we had that. On the north, we had parks. On the on the west, we had a big, huge natural break. No no people there, right? We got the, uh, was that a cemetery or was that a park? Uh, Lakeview Cemetery, yeah. So we got uh, the big old cemetery and then a park. West, north, and then right to the south, we got a good neighborhood. 
Well, over here, this is kind of working against us. The same thing that made the other neighborhood a pro is a con over here because we've got University Circle in Little Italy, okay? But then we go to that same cemetery. That is right there. So in between the good stuff, we got the big old natural break, the cemetery, okay? And then to the north, we got just more crummy ghetto. So if you actually go down to where the street is, if you look on Lakeview, right? There's our quad. Right to the west, that's an empty lot. That home was torn down. Right to the east, that was torn down. Then you got another house, and then it appears like the one right next to that was torn down. If you go to the street, which is directly north, right, that borders the backyard, if you look, it's called Woodlawn Avenue. The entire freaking street has been torn down, okay? What that means, is all the homes in this whole street, like how many plots do we have in a row here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 plots in a row on Woodlawn. There were 16 homes there and they all were so run down and so dilapidated, they all had to be torn down. And then if you look across the street, you got three, then you got a house, then you got another two, then you got five houses, then you got another two. You go the other street north of that. Looks like we got a house on the corner there. This is Penrose now. You got a house, then you got a vacant lot, a house, a vacant lot, a house. Then you got one, two, three, four, five vacant lots, another three houses, a vacant lot, two houses, a vacant lot, four houses, a vacant lot, two houses, one, two, three, four, five more vacant lots. You go to the other side of the street, Corner of Penrose and Forest Hill Avenue, two vacant lots. Then we got, what is that, six houses, two more vacant lots, a house, vacant lot, house, vacant lot, four houses, vacant lot, house, vacant lot, three more vacant lots. Go, you know, continue go north, Brightwood Street, three vacant lots, a house, two vacant lots, a couple more houses with some vacant lots, a few more houses across the street, another deal. The whole goddamn street has been torn down. There is literally, uh, on the corner of Forest Hill all the way to Euclid Avenue, that whole street there, I only see three homes that are remaining standing. And then uh, if you see to the northeast, it just continues on and on. So this little pocket, yes, this little pocket is really close to nice stuff, um, but that's not always the full story. Because the actual neighborhood itself is just God, God awful destroyed. And then something else that's kind of very telling, going to, uh, moving from like the aerial view on Google Earth here to the actual street view, you know, where you actually put that little yellow guy on the street. Uh, you see our big old quad right there. And of course, as just mentioned, right, we got two big old vacant lots right next to it. Turning this, right, turning it to the east. What do you see there? All I see is just a ton of crummy stuff, right? The street's destroyed. We got a few crummy houses minus all of our vacant lots. Everything is just total blight and peril. But what is smack dab in front of our face? Would you look at that? That looks to be a pretty expensive, all black, tinted windows Lincoln Navigator. You know, that's, uh, that's a fairly expensive uh, SUV, okay? So you got a, uh, just on Google Earth, right? Google Earth, random picture here. This is a snapshot of the neighborhood. This is exactly um, a snapshot of what you'd be buying if you purchased this property. All blight. These houses are crummy. They're so bad, they're getting torn down. And then, boom, we got this big old fancy black SUV. Uh, I'll give you one guess as to the, the occupation of the gentleman who's driving that Lincoln Navigator. And if you guess anything other than drug dealer, you're wrong. So that is a, a look into this property, Angus. And I felt that that was really important because you were very, very high on this property. And um, there's reasons for why you're so high based upon the marketing. But I wanted to really peel back peel back the layers of transparency and, and give you this look. Now, I'm not saying one should never buy super blighted properties. It works for some people, some people it will work. Uh, for you and your plan, what you've identified and what me and you have been working on thus far, I don't, I don't see this being a match from a risk standpoint. 
In addition to that, though, I'm not just poo-pooing on people who want to buy high-risk stuff. If you want to buy high-risk stuff, that's cool. Which brings me to my next point, Angus. You were actually interested in a property that we've had on the investment properties for sale. So 616 East 117th, okay? That is a multifamily uh, property that I am selling. Now, here is the thing. Angus, you asked me if if I think that would work for you. I don't really think that would work for you specifically, um, reason being, you know, it's just, it's, it's another F class property, another F class risk. And with what you're trying to do, you have a few million dollars, you're trying to passively invest and you need a property manager to handle that. You don't have a lot of contacts in Cleveland and Holton Wise, we're not going to take on properties that are that blighted for our uh, management and construction. It's just not worth the hassle for us. I think properties like that work for those folks who are local. Uh, those work great for contractors, guys that are literally doing it themselves to actually pay a company like ours, a third party company to handle all the BS involved, man, it can get pretty costly. And I just don't think it's a risk you want to take on. But that said, if you decided you really wanted to get into something that high risk, that's totally cool. Um, But here's the thing you got to understand. And this is why I dislike this Lakeview property so much for investors. Lakeview listed at 149,900. Now the property that I have on Holton Wise TV the, the property is priced more appropriately taking all the risks involved, right? Very similar property, but I've got it for less than half of what this Lakeview is. So even if you're like, yeah, man, I'm down with all the risks. I'm ready to rock and roll. What they have priced Lakeview at, I, I don't think it makes any sense. If you are somebody out there who's interested in purchasing a high risk asset, and I don't like to use the MLS search and analysis show as a platform to market my listings and the properties that I'm selling on the investment properties for sale show. So it's not like I'm just trying to take this opportunity to pitch you guys on 616 East 117th. I'm really just trying to provide you with the most possible detailed explanation and education I can, Angus. I mean, that's what you're paying me for. So again, if you do want to go high risk, you can, if you're going to pick one and Lakeview became available, I would say you, sh- you would definitely be better off paying less than half and getting 616 East 117th. But I'm not trying to sell you, Angus. I don't think you should necessarily buy 616 East 117th because I don't think it works for the plan that you've laid out for me and what you and I have been doing together. It's going completely into left field. It's not what you and I are trying to do. But for everyone else out there who might be watching this and you are a local and you are a savage and you're used to uh, working with super super high risk stuff. Uh, if you're looking at one of the two, you're looking at the, the Lakeview property versus East 117th. I think East 117th, of course, going to make a lot more sense because you don't have to pay as much money and that's priced appropriately. This one, in my opinion, is way overpriced and I think it's probably going to fall out of contract and come back on the market. So that is all my thoughts on this particular uh, property and some of those properties uh, you've presented to me, Angus. What we're going to do now, we're going to go to a word from the sponsors of today's show then we're going to get into a couple more properties you're very interested in. Good day, everyone. It's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in, So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. U.S. REIB is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multifamily investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. REIB has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. REIB is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate.
All right, Angus, welcome back, brother. Now, another property that you are pretty interested in. 3441 West 56. This is a duplex, right? Now, this is in um, on the west side. And you and I, we've been very uh, interested in this particular neighborhood because of all the good things happening there, Metro Health and whatnot. So I, I like this particular property for you. You are not the first client of mine that we've looked into this. I actually looked into this from... Uh, for a, a while back for another client, uh, he ended up not making a move on this property, but I do think this one would work really good for your portfolio and what we are trying to accomplish. He's an investor in a similar boat to you. Um, I know you're from Hong Kong. He's actually from Korea, and he's also got a few million dollars he's looking to invest in. So you guys' uh, strategies and whatnot, they're, they're similar, right? Not exactly the same, but they're similar. Your situations are somewhat similar. So what I wanna do now is I wanna take you to that footage i uh, let you take a look at what I thought about this property. Woo! These are some Section 8 opportunities. First one, 3441 West 56, Cleveland, 44102. This has been on the market for 12 days, so it's a new property listed by a company called Realty Trust Services. They've listed it at 59900 What it has right now, two tenants. I believe they are cash-paying tenants. One paying five fifty, the other paying five fifty. One's a two bed, one's a three bed. That's going to come into play. So total eleven hundred a month right now, thirteen thousand two hundred a year. I think Andy, we could pick this up at approximately fifty five thousand. Now this just came back on the market. It, it was immediately put under contract right when it went on the market, and then for whatever reason that fell out of contract and it's available again. Now this is a good deal. A lot of the properties I show you, we're, we're getting, uh, you know, huge discounts off the list price. Like the, the previous property, the one we just did on West 89th, I believe uh, that was offered for like 55 or 59 and me and you working together, negotiating with those agents and the sellers and the fact that you're a cash buyer, we were able to negotiate that price all the way down to like 35K. So we got you between 20 and $25,000 off the advertised price on that one here. I believe we can pick this up for fifty-five thousand. Only a five thousand dollar discount. But you gotta understand, you know, the there's a discount off the list of price. This particular property was just priced really, really well. Okay, they just priced this to move. They want this thing to fly. Um, so that is an insane price. Now, I'm gonna go through the numbers with you based upon what we currently have as far as rental income. Now, these in my uh, in my my estimation are not, do not appear to be Section 8 tenants. We want to replace these tenants eventually with Section 8 tenants, and that's going to increase our cash flow. But what I want to show you right now is what you're going to be getting right off the bat if you purchase this. So we bring in 1100 I want you to anticipate spending 55 on repairs and maintenance, vacancy and non-payment CapEx, right? All these things, when you own rental property, guys, these are costs that are going to occur. I know a lot of times turnkey providers or sellers of rental properties, they're not breaking it down like this for you guys. They're just saying, yo, this is your rent. And beyond that, you got your taxes, your insurance, your mortgage, but they don't include these things because these things don't happen every month. But dude, they happen, guys. This is a D-class property. Now, I happen to like this D-class neighborhood a lot more than any other D-class neighborhood in the Cleveland market. The reason I like this so much is two things. To the east of this neighborhood, we've got the Metro Health um, facility investing a billion, be like boy, a billion dollars into the neighborhood. I believe that is going to have a positive effect, uh, positive effect on this whole neighborhood. Now, this is a, a little bit, you know, further down, like that's West 25th. This is West 56. So what is that like 21 street? So it's not like right, right there. You can't like see the hospital from your front yard, but it's very, very close. If you're sick and you're living in this property, that's the hospital you're going to. So I anticipate a big positive effect in this neighborhood there. In addition, just to the north, okay, to the north of this property, we got the hottest neighborhoods in the Cleveland market. We got Edgewater, Detroit, Shoreway, Ohio City, Tremont. Those are the hot spots. When you hear about the resurgence in Cleveland, those are the neighborhoods they're talking about. So just to the north, we got a ton of economic development. Just to the east, we got a ton of committed economic development, a billion dollar project. To the west, we got Lakewood. So everything surrounding this particular neighborhood leads me to believe that in the coming years, this is the next neighborhood in the Cleveland market that I'm going to see an uptick in property values, an uptick in quality. But right now, it's risky. 
And I know a lot of you guys out there are trying to avoid risk. It makes sense, right? Because, uh, you know, these numbers we're going over, if you get a string of bad tenants, they'll just fucking blow these numbers to shit. But that is why it's so important we go after that Section 8 income right now because that Section 8 income is guaranteed by the government. When you're in a high-risk neighborhood like this, the biggest issue is your tenants don't pay rent. So then you got to pay to a victim. They fuck the property up, and then you got to pay us to fix the property up. So your repairs and maintenance, your vacancy and non-payment, all of those things right there, they're all interrelated. If we can get Section 8 tenants in there, that's going to reduce all of those issues because if the tenant doesn't have income, it does not matter because the government is paying for that. So that's going to keep those tenants in there longer. That means no renovation costs for you guys. You're not turning the units over every year or two. So that's what we want. We want to go after those Section 8 tenants. But again, right now, I don't believe we have those. So we're just going over the numbers based upon what we have right now. But you're going to pocket that stuff because eventually these folks are going to leave. I don't want to sell you a property in a D-class neighborhood and tell you, man, these tenants are awesome. They're going to be there in the next 20 years. I don't fucking know that. And odds are good. The numbers, the statistics, the data we have available for me running a $50 million portfolio, I know that these tenants are probably not going to live there for 20 years and they're probably not going to pay rent uh, every month. You know, In the next 20 years you own this property, um, all things be equal. If you just had cash paying tenants in there, I would anticipate you're going to have several turnovers, bro, right? Uh, so that's just, uh, that's why we have to break down these numbers and you have to calculate for these things, right? Going back to the chart, taxes 64, insurance 60. Click the show notes below, guys. You want to save money on your insurance? I own an insurance business. We will save you money. Water sewer, you got to pay for that 150 if you're curious to know why. Go to HoltonWise.com, click our property management fact. I explain it. It's a whole long story, but it's all explained in our fact. Lawn care, 44 property management 110 so of the current 1100 bucks that's bringing in i anticipate you're going to spend on average 593 which is going to bring home 507 a month on average or 6084 a year that as it sits is an 11 cap okay that ain't bad that's good right that's good so pretty much i feel basically the same way about that property today as i sit here talking to you as i felt about it when i was talking to my previous client so I think we should definitely enact that plan on that particular property, make a move. Let's try to put that under contract for you and uh, knock that one out. Now, what we're going to do is go to a, another quick commercial break, and then we're going to come back and I'm going to finish out your show today with another property you've shown to me. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches, FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit FSHouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Thiel, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Welcome back, Angus. Now the last property of the day. This is another duplex that you are very, very high on. 3302 Daisy Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, 44109. This has been listed by EXP Realty for $64,900. Just hit the market and you sent me some emails on this. You love this particular property because it's, uh, it's in that neighborhood that me and you've been focusing on very heavily, right? All the stuff we just talked about with 3441 West 56, 
all that stuff is going to apply here even more so because this is even closer to the Metro Health campus. This is literally right there. So I like this property quite a bit. I like the neighborhood. Um, but the thing I do not like, okay, the thing I do not like on this particular property is the purchase price. Reason being, this thing needs a huge renovation, man. Just cruising through the photos, okay? This, uh, this, this thing is destroyed, bro. This is just totally jacked up, which, I mean, that does not make it a deal breaker, right? I mean, that's how we make money in real estate. We find distressed assets. We fix them up. And, uh, you know, we, we make them good. That's how we do the bird deals, right? That's, that's the biggest part of the bird deal, right? Is finding a, a property that just beats a holy hell. And this one is beat to holy hell. So to put this thing together, though, the issue is to fix this thing up just based upon what I'm seeing and how jacked this is, I think we're going to need to spend approximately $40,000 putting this sucker together. Now, after we spend forty thousand dollars putting it together, we would be able to easily get two tenants, and they're paying seven fifty a month. So it would bring in fifteen hundred dollars a month, or eighteen thousand dollars a year. Now, quickly running through the numbers, what would it look like if you're bringing in fifteen hundred a month? Well, you know all the expenses that you're very familiar with that we've talked about many, many times: your repairs, your maintenance, your vacancy, and your non-payment, your capex. You know we're gonna budget seventy-five a month for that. But the cool thing is that forty thousand dollar budget. That's assuming we had to replace some of the big ticket items, not all of them, some of them. Uh, it appears they do have some things in there working. You know, this is a very wide budget right now. Uh, we really need to get in there to to narrow it down. I mean, that budget could go up a few grand, five, six, seven grand. It could go down a few grand. But just based on what I'm looking at, man, I'm thinking we're going to be around 40,000. 40, uh, so <clears throat> that's why we're still going to factor in those CapEx stuff, even though some of that's going to be new. Taxes, insurance, you know the drill, man. Click the show notes below if you want to save money on your insurance premiums. We own a farmer's business in addition to being able to sell you farmer's insurance. We're also playing with several other small little niche insurance companies y'all never heard of. And what we do is we just shop around your portfolios as landlords and get you guys the lowest possible premium. So this big old, huge old duplex, we'll be able to insure this for only 80 bucks a month, Angus. Water sewer, 150, lawn care, 44 p.m., 150. So of that 1,500 coming in, I anticipate you're going to spend 762 having us operate this, leaving you with an NOI of 738. Now, this is why I don't like the deal, though. 64,900 plus a $40,000 renovation, that don't make no goddamn sense, okay? What is that? That puts us at $105,000 for the, the property. I don't think uh, you can do that. It's not going to make no sense. Best case scenario, after we uh, renovate this thing, get it, get it looking beautiful, we would need, uh, we, we would probably be able to get it to appraise for 85K, right? That's what I think we can get it to appraise for. So what does that mean? As far as purchase price goes, you cannot buy this sucker for $64,900. The price you need to target would be $30,000. If you could pick this up at $30,000, that would be a hell of a deal because you pick it up at 30, we put 40 into it, you're all in for 70,000. You're bringing home 738 a month on average. The cap rate is 13, that's great, but this is the power of the burr. Now we get this sucker to appraise at $85,000, that means the bank, they're gonna loan you 63,750 bucks. You originally spent $70,000 getting it to this point. So that means you're only going to have $6,250 into the deal, which after you pay off your mortgage, it's going to leave you with a 95% cash on cash return. So if we can get this for you at $30,000, hell of a deal. But what they've listed it for, and they just listed it three days, more than double, right? 64,900. So the odds of us taking this particular deal down, I would say are fairly low. Um, you know, this is the other thing too, when you're trying to make like a super low ball offer, I don't, I don't think the seller is going to entertain 64,000, or I'm sorry, I don't think the seller who thinks they're going to get 64,900 three days ago is going to entertain an offer for 30,000, even if it's cash and it's clean. Um, not today anyway, they just listed it three days ago. This might be something we want to keep in the back of our head. And maybe we want to present that offer to them in like 90 days when the realities of what they have is really hitting them. And they don't think they're going to get that money because I, I find it very hard to believe that anybody 
who, who's got a brain would be willing to pay 64,900 for this particular property that needs about $40,000 of renovation when our ARV is only going to be 85, right? I mean, yeah, technically you could pay a little more than 30 um, and still come in, you know, just shy of the ARV, but that, why would you, right? I mean, if uh, you're going to have to do a $40,000 renovation, what the hell is the point of getting into the property, spending all that time doing that big $40,000 renovation just to get to what it's exactly worth? I mean, we could just buy something totally put together for eighty five k and not have to deal with the renovation. So by doing it at 30, that's why I target that for you. You need to get a nice little bonus, right, for putting in all that work, taking on all that risk. Because, I mean, dude, a $40,000 renovation. Th those renovations, you know, the prices can go up on renovations like that in the in the middle of the renovation, man. Bad things can happen. Uh, there's a lot of unknowns when you're dealing with an old home and a renovation that's that large. So you're taking on risk. So because of that, you, you got to target it for a really good price for it to be a really good deal. And I think that's 30K. So this property, yes, Angus, I do love the property. You're You're barking up the right tree here. This is very in line with what we're trying to do for you. Uh, but, you know, just uh, the repairs on this one, they're just, you know, there's just too many to get them at the price the sellers want. So I'd say we keep this one in the back of our heads. We learned uh, a lot about uh, the risk levels of the neighborhood right there with the Lakeview Quad. And then 3441 West 56, that's the one I think we need to go after from today's video. So of these three properties, I think we make a move on that one. We're definitely going to keep Daisy in the back of our head. And now we learned some things on the Lakeview property and just learn how important it is to make sure we do a deep dive into the due diligence because, you know, when an agent is presenting a property, they're hired by that seller to present the property in the best possible light. Nothing that agent said was a lie. It is very close to university circle, but sometimes we just got to dig deeper, dig deeper and make sure we really understand what's going on. And we, we looked at all those red flags, which is just all those homes that were just completely torn down. The drug dealer, you know, the most expensive thing on the whole street is the drug dealer's SUV. So you really got to, you know, pay attention to that stuff. And, uh, you know, that's why you hire me, right? You're, you know, thousands of miles away from this neighborhood. So that's why it's important to spend a little bit of coin doing your due diligence, making sure you don't make a big investment mistake. So Smart job out of you, Angus, by hiring me to come in and making sure we could uh, invest your money in a way that mitigates your risks as much as humanly possible. Everybody else who's still with me, I know this has been a very long show, but if you're still with me, that means you're taking your investing very seriously. And the next step for you is going to be partnering with us, working with us, just like Angus has done. You want to go to HoltonWise.com, click the property search for sale tab. Click the MLS search and analysis show. Order yourself an analysis and search product today. Personally, I think the very best product you can do for your career is getting the package of 10 like Angus has done. Because as you guys can see, there's a lot of deals out there that look good, but uh, digging deeper, turns out they aren't good. We got to do diligence on a ton of properties to line you guys up with deals. Even in Angus's situation, We've done a ton of due diligence on deals that turned out to be good, but we can't always get the sellers uh, to agree. This is a numbers game, guys. So, you know, just like the gurus, that you know, they give you guys a great strategy, a money-making strategy, and it makes it look all easy, but it's not really that easy uh, in the real world. In real world, it's a numbers game. We need to put a bunch of fishing lines in that pond to get some bites, okay? So doing just one or two, yeah, you guys can do that. But uh, maybe you get a deal, maybe you don't get a deal. It's, it's really a numbers game. That's why I like the package of 10. We really get to know each other's goals and wants and needs and get an understanding how each other work. We get to long-term commit to each other. My team can devote a ton of resources to you. And we can work you through the whole process. And, uh, you know, we're going to be able to overcome the fact that not all the deals are going to get put together because we're doing so many. You know, we're putting out, uh, you know, 10 fishing lines, so to speak. And that, that's the name of the game, guys, because you guys are trying to build big portfolios, big doors, right? I'm sure you all want to get to 10 doors, then 20 doors, then 50, then 100 doors. Ain't nobody out there made a ton of money investing in real estate who's a landlord of one or two properties. If you're, if you're thinking about doing that, it's just not worth the hassle, right? This is a game of scale. Keep your money in your 401k or the stock market or have some fun. Go buy yourself a boat, man. I don't know. But if you want to get into the real estate game, you want to become a landlord, you want to become a passive investor. Very important that you scale up, right? 
you got to get a bunch of doors. This is a game of scale, folks. So big portfolios. Again, that's why I like the 10 property package. That's enough ranting and raving out of me. You guys stay safe out there. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact, combined with the high price-to-rent ratio, is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee, as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you will also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and Rent Tech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia, and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.